other people, we have the Lenovo Yoga 910, the new version. So, uh, let us show y'all the gaming aspect of this uh, laptop. Most people don't look at it as a gaming laptop. I'll just use my fingerprint for this video. I don't want you to see the passcode, but, um, about to get into this game, I'm going to turn on screen record just so y'all, uh, see everything a lot better. Okay, what's up YouTube? This is going to be a demonstration of the Lenovo Yoga 910 in gaming. Most people do not consider this a gaming laptop, but it can play some games. Let me just show you the settings right here We're using Direct 3D 11, which is a great backend. Skipping the buffered effects because you don't really need them. But uh, what's impressive is the rendering solution. I'm using 8 times PSP. If anyone here uh, knows any of the settings here that can make it better maybe i could go up to nine times ten times graphics but as of now i think they look um they look, it looks great the game looks great and let me just show y'all what i'm trying to say i haven't finished the game yet so we'll just see a little bit of it probably can't hear me for the rest of the video <laughs> Just so y'all get Alright YouTube, I have been using screen record, um, be more specific, I am using, um, a direct input, this is with the Xbox 360, what I say, drivers, it, it does work somehow, it's pretty magical, if you really want to know, I could tell you, but, uh, those are actually the basic programs needed, SCP driver, I had better DS3, but I'm not even using it, but let's go on to the next game, I'm using, I'm going to be using mostly emulators for this, just because they can really show the power. And I'll show one issue, of course. Uh, everyone's favorite Mario Kart, right? So we're going to get into this game. And I'll show y'all everything that needs to happen. Before that, let me actually get into this. Graphics, I am... I mean, this is just... This is the yoga. So we... I mean, at least we're blessed that it works. So I can use 1.5 native resolution. It looks pretty good. Um, the game looks fine at one time, to be perfectly honest. And I have bought this game many times as a kid, so this is basically my backup of the game. So let's uh, get into the gameplay.
we're back. Um, this is mostly an emulator run. We will see a little bit of asphalt at the end, but here we have a, like a focus ever, whatever. We got PCSX2. PS2 emulator, this one usually runs pretty good on computers that really uh, aren't the most powerful, but let me just show you what I'm running with on the Lenovo Yoga 910. Do not switch computers or anything. We got the, it's, it's all here, it's all here, the i7. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try two times native, Direct 3D9 hardware. I mean, I don't know if it really matters. I guess I'll switch to 11. Newer the better, y'all. Yeah. Okay, whatever. And uh, we're gonna load everyone's favorite slaughterer. Uh, yeah, this game actually works great. Uh, we'll we'll play God of War 2 because it's a little more demanding. And uh, I'll start the screen record for this one. But y'all, y'all will see this. I, I definitely definitely have owned this game before so don't even worry about that and I'll start it right now. So enabling multi-core actually helps. Alright, um... So this is going to be the most challenging to play. Um, as I did, I did promise y'all Asphalt 8, even though you can play that on your phone anyway, but... They do have it. Here's CMU. This is the Wii U emulator. Uh, pretty experimental still. But, um, let me try to play. This game does require a lot of speed. Um... I might go into... Okay, I'll, I'll go into processor details um, now, but I gotta still obviously show y'all what's like the gameplay itself. So it's a little more clear, but uh, here, here's the um, processor speeds. This game is clearly not optimized. I mean, it's kind of cool, the Lenovo touchscreen, right? Yeah, it works. Sick. Um, Grand Prix. I'll go 150 just so it looks a little faster. Or whatever. Use a PS3 controller just so y'all can actually see. Just choose Mario. Yeah, press X. 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 I mean, whatever. Why the hell would I lie about Direct X working? So that is the processor speed to the left. It's overclocked to 3.5 gigahertz, so it should be running at this the entire time. Fortunately, that is not the case. And if anyone knows how to fix this, that'd be great, but if you know how to keep it at 3.5 gigahertz, then this thing would probably run at full speed, but uh, I'm about to show you all the gameplay. Um, you won't be able to hear my voice when I start talking, but um, I'll start it right now. Yeah, so now I'm... Uh, you see, when you pause it, the the frequency goes much higher, stays overclocked. And just looking at the performance, I mean, yeah, I, I press the home button on this, and then this pops up, and it's kind of sick. Like what? And that is that is how I end up recording my screen with this. So yeah, now I'm gonna record, so y'all can um, y'all can see me when I start. 
Yep, so I'm uh, on the screen. You guys can no longer see the processor, but as, as you saw, um, it's not even running at its full speed. So, um, I mean, the processor isn't, so obviously the emulator wouldn't. But if it can, then uh, I think it'll get good performance. I think, in my opinion, at 150cc, this game is playable, and um, let me know if you agree. I do think that's enough though, um, processor is not even going to go at full speed, so why the hell would the game go at full speed? If you can change that on your own, that'd be great. Um, you have a great uh, gaming laptop as well as just a great laptop overall. Hel kind of helps me enjoy doing my homework just that much more. Uh, let me exit out of this and then I'll show y'all the, the last game. So like I said, I was going to, um go to Asphalt 8. I don't really know the controls that they assigned, but, um... Oh my god. I'm not... I don't... I really don't want to claim anything, but whatever. Claim it. Play good, sweet. Um... They assigned this stuff. I don't know how to drift at all. I'll be using this, the same input, but uh, hopefully I can record the screen on this one too. Can I? Looks like I can, so y'all will be seeing me in uh, full screen mode really soon. So this is the loading time for the loading. Yeah, I think that's all. That's all I really need to say. It's a great computer. I do recommend it, and uh, if you know how to keep it at 3.5 gigahertz, and that could help me run the Wii U emulator, that'd be great. But as of now, I can say uh, peace out, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.